Blog Talk Radio. Hi, everybody. Time to break those chains because we're going to change moving into your success and purpose. I'm in your spirit order to do testing with both you guys and staying to have to do audio testing all the time. But it's because of my levels of misconduct, gross misconduct, and things that I will be addressing in court, federal court, civil court, county court, drama court, and family court over the levels of gross misconduct that's been affecting my business, business model. Okay, I'm CC, or my coach, the coach, the divorce coach, and I want to make sure that everything is set, good, film, and that you guys can hear me, and let's make sure we have audio chest checks before we get into the content, which is going to be very short, sweet, and to the point. All right, good. So I can hear myself. So even success rituals, building up, implementing change, and breaking change. That is what it is tonight. And we're going to be opening up our club show. And it will be just one moment, you guys. I told you guys, I want to make sure that we go through our level seven evening success ritual to figure out our purpose in this month. And making sure that as club holders, if you guys understand it as well, and Facebook as well. So let me go ahead and get the train started. Evening success ritual for success. And finding your purpose. It's messing out on a short show. Forgive me. I'm doing that on Google and Apple. All right. Topic set. Let's go. The room is open for everybody in your world. And welcome to come in to let's go. And we're ready to rock. We're in Clubhouse. It says something about poor connection, trying to find a stronger signal. That's the signal being tampered with. So I'm going to ignore that purposely, and I will be addressing the top table. And welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. How are you? Come on in. Come on in. We're about to start a quick show. It's not going to be that long. I have to still be on evening success rituals and finding your purpose, trying to break those chains, implement change, and moving into your success and purpose. And part of that is learning success rituals and things like that. For my Facebookers, just a moment. I'll update it on there for you guys to get in there. And we can rock and roll, y'all. So good evening, those that are showing up already. Appreciate you being here. Live is now made public on Facebook, so you guys can come see me. You can comment, and you need to put pound IMCC when you make comments. If your comments are inappropriate, I will report you and know that I will George Jefferson you off of my live and my platform. We are all about safe lives, and we're also making sure that we make great strides and being professional in the presentation of the content. And I want to welcome you guys here. Welcome, my club hoppers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, have a seat at the club house, and I will be more than welcome to allow you guys to come in there. And raise your hand after I tell you you have the floor, and we can start talking after the show and presentation. So how we're going to go is you can call in at 515-602-765. Trash out love offerings if you want to do that. You're not having to do that. But if you want to, to be a shareholder and a benefactor of these live coachings and things like that, so I need to bring you fresh new content and with the power to do more with Talk Radio Diva, you may log on to TalkRadioDiva.com, or you may do the cash out through the perspective coaching businesses of IMCC Coaching, and that's dollar sign IMCC Coaching, dollar sign dollar Diva Coaching, and dollar sign Team World Online, and dollar sign Talk Radio Diva. And if you want to do it every month, you may subscribe, and you can tell me what business you want to donate to, and you can go to TalkRadioDiva.com, or you can get the QR code, and you can do it once or twice, and you can sign up for which one you like. And I'll also have a QR code for you guys to do that as well. So you guys guys just subscribe to the village, send it straight to the business. That looks straight to the business account. And I want you guys to understand that you will get a tax deductible receipt in the mail or I will do it by email so you can print that out. And that way you can have your tax deductions and whatnot. That's a good way for you guys to become shareholders, but it also benefits you at the end of the year with your tax donations and it will be a tax write off. So that's kind of like a Welcome back to you guys, and thank you for helping me, and therefore I'm trying to find ways to help you so you will be able to get that receipt and you can prove it on your taxes if you itemize your taxes. So there's a business coach, my coach, my coach, I found ways to help you guys out as you help me. But with that being said, you're not obligated to do so, but now you know there's incentive to do that. Also put pound IMCC, and you get entered to win our giveaways from our parent or sister uh, company, whatnot, 
uh, vaccinate the printables, as well as Don Diva Enterprises, which is Don Diva Enterprises Holdings, our parent company that holds all of our sister companies. And we are a holdings company and also as well as managed underneath that uh, corporate umbrella. So with that being said, I want you guys to understand about Chapter 7 levels of what we call Module 7, Chapter 7, what we're into today, which is a level of evening success rituals. I wanted to make this quick because I know you guys have the attention span of a net, so I'm trying to make sure that I do this within 30 minutes or 60 minutes or less, hopefully not 90 minutes if I don't have to. So I want to share with you evening success rituals for going to bed and everywhere at night so that you can go to bed fulfilled with a big smile on your face from now on. I know some of us have not been able to smile because some things in life will not make you smile, but you've got to find a way to see the smile point your heart gets the things that are you that you want. So it's time to work this change. I'm moving into your success department. I think Colin will make five minutes of security and that's the final call. It's called his show. And then on top of that, I'm welcome to talk in. And we have a conversation at professional and have to be professional. Now, there's other tools that we follow in our morning every day. We'll get a morning cup of joe. Or we go and get dressed before, take a shower, wash your feet, do our hair, do the altar. So to reflect and celebrate after your day's activities, we have evening rituals, which is we go home. We say our dinner and after we sat down, we take in our both off, we sat down for a whole hour, relax, and sat down and had our evening walk or whatever you do, eat these wide out or talk to your kids, and then go get them in the shower while you're cooking dinner, things that I do. So that we consider rituals. We all do. And my kids normally work to a good thing, not bad. So with that being said, I want to try to understand while morning rituals are highly encouraged to be incorporated into everyone's daily routine, evening rituals are just important. And equally as important to get to the result of our day. And a lot of ways for us to you know, set our day up for success, not failure. And then to also find a way or punishment our levels of our day, even when it gets tested or we when it gets tested or when our lives are tested. So after all, there is no point of starting on a race full of energy with no idea how to end it for us. So the race is for time to break those chains, implement change, and moving towards success in our group. So I don't want you to miss the spiritual part to this and speaking of the little seven, chapter seven of our teaching of the law. So I want you to be able to understand this is refreshing your goals and one after the other. But unless you take time to celebrate each victory in your life or take down time, or if you definitely are not going to come up with your day, or miss me out for this if you don't see a evening ritual for success. And a lot of magic moments in a sense of fun that you should be experiencing at this moment. And everything is magic. It is black girl magic, white girl magic, black boy magic, white boy magic. No matter what, there is a level of fine level of chakra and levels of magic within this world to be able to bring a level of success to you if you believe in the law of attraction, chakra based teaching, and level of ascension and things like that. So sometimes you can manifest your destiny, that magic, that ultimate level of manifesting what you want, putting it out in the universe, and it's only bringing it back to you. That's what I mean. So there are some evening rituals that I highly recommend incorporating into your evening routine. Part of that is, number one, empowering each evening question. Here's why. At the beginning of any success ritual, you have to ask yourself a question. It's the main focus to reflect on your day. Ask yourself, how did my day and the best way to reflect is to ask proper questions, not just as questions that you beat yourself up, but to ask yourself what's going to your fruit if your day didn't go well. So, and then I've also called the powerful questions, empowering easy questions, something that we all should do. And I have a list of questions that you should ask yourself in different circumstances, and I'll put them out there. And I'll be a book published for you guys to ask yourself the power of questions, and also design that we reflect on entirely having a day of asking yourself, and come up with constructive ideas to shape your better tomorrow. Hi, welcome to my next. So we're talking about designing to help us to platform a level of our entire day and having a constructive level of ideal. We have to first make she should find quiet place. Or you won't be easily disturbed or distracted. Or if you're on a platform like I am at the White Coast, try not to have you know, the services for people who go out there late. So one thing, for a certain amount of time, in order to go deep into your daily requirements, or when I go and tell you guys about coaching and how to do things, and how to go about your life as I did to implement these same things, so to keep a level of uh, discord and conduct that is meaningful and helps you guys with your purpose. As my purpose is the life coach, and that's one thing I've worked to 
I just feel like I love it. So it's hard to break those chains, implement change, moving into your success purpose, and finding a way to have that in your question when you ask yourself this question. Those questions you ask determine what you're focusing on, and the reason why you have questions you ask yourself is extremely important. So ask a lousy question, you're going to ask a lousy answer for it. So you'll feel lousy. So ask a good question, and you'll feel amazing. So it's all about mindset and programmatic and schematic stuff. So how your mind is set and programmed to be able to think in a better, eliminate way. So for example, how we feel about today is ultimately based on good or bad of what you focus on. If you focus on the bad in your day, you're going to have a bad day. If you focus on the good in your day or find something to be grateful about, if you're if it's a very good day or if it's a no good, very bad day, then you have to figure out what to be grateful in this bad day and how do I find a way to manage my life beyond the way my day turned out. And with that being said, I want to make sure that we have an understanding of how that works. So when you ask yourself questions, you have to say to yourself, What are things that happen today? What can I feel good about? It? How can I make myself feel good, even if my day sucks? Or if my day was positive, how can I make it even more positive in my reflection? So I bet you can come up with a long list of things. It could be the fact that you're alive and you went for a walk, or you had a wonderful time with your loved one, or if you don't have a loved one, you've done a good sleep and have an amazing dinner, or cross off one of the things to do on your to-do list. Whatever it is, you can always find something to feel good about every single day. And part of that is finding a way to not be frustrated. Even if your day is frustrating, if your life is frustrating, if you're going too hard to, they're making your life frustrating. Hi, welcome. How are you? So let me ask you again. What are things that happen to you today that you feel awful about? Or what are things that you feel great about today? And you put down IMCC in the comments, and then it'll ask you to win the giveaway for IMCC. And you can get either a shirt or you can get something from our store. So with that being said, uh, as you look at the levels of change in your mind and you begin to implement change and move them into your success purpose, I bet you can look at a lot of things. And it says that if you procrastinate on the past or some old nasty junk food or failed to pick up or, or that call that you needed or or you get down, those are bad things. But what are some good things? If you had a good night's rest, if you ate some good food, if you, if you changed the way you eat or if you had a good walk to the dog, or things like that. So I would think about all the different things that you care for and so on. Ultimately, how do you feel in answering these questions? That's the total of the course of your day and how do you end it? So the fact is, it's always good and bad each day, but what you ask yourself by, on how to answer your questions and focus on each night before any of the test. So what you focus on determining about how to feel about the particular day. And so it's always good and bad. Why not be relaxed and decide what you want to know the good that happened in the day instead of bad? So since you're here inside that, you are the one who determines your success in your journey, right? So the same thing is about the other day or something bad. So don't make yourself feel worse if you had a bad day. Or if you had a good day, make sure yourself feel real good and close up your day with good questions. So guess what happens if you constantly ask yourself the power and good questions? Every day will become an awesome day for you. You'll always feel like a rock star, even when sometimes you feel like you're about to fall out of your face sometimes. So think about that. Every day you will have an awesome day. For you. you don't want to feel like you are on top of the world, whether the world's on top of you, you can't breathe. So think about all the levels of accomplishment and productivity and fulfillment we experience every day. So think about that. I'll let you know about mine. It was actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it's phenomenal, but it was pretty darn good. So in fact, there's no such thing as a bad day unless you make it a bad day or something else outside of it. Making your heart shit a bad day or you just want to, yeah. <laughs> So I want you guys to understand today on a lot of people's talk. And then you guys look at, oh, I'm sorry, there's another day, I'll try it again. But I have to say for me today, I was able to get up. Even though I was in a hot house, it's been at Stanford. Again, for the Brazilian time, you know, I have to go and get things. They got Stanford again. But the thing is, I look past all that in the hot house as a way for me to lose weight. I'm sweating a lot more than I care for. And then on top of that, I'm able to just figure out how to power through it and power through these hardships and be grateful I grew up my head, although I read the same as one can't read. And the levels of health damages because I got some vandalism. But outside of that, I said to myself, I could be in a work situation. I could be sitting in my car. I could be sitting on an apartment. I could be sitting outside. So maybe I need to be grateful that I have a house. I have a house on the state of eventually I'll be able to make repairs and do what I need to do so that I can do it. I don't have my pet now. 
So, you know, you see how you look at your day at the normal level, even though my friend works for this, even though there's people around me, but I found the way to rise above it and rise up. So, it all starts with your focus and your primary question. We'll help you through things that. I'm going to give you a list of questions that I ask myself every evening. What was fantastic about your day? What did I learn today? What am I grateful for today? What is my biggest accomplishment for today? What do I want to accomplish for tomorrow? What would make today great? Just have it all and have a good day. So slow down right now. So with me in this exercise, write down all of your answers. Try to feel the emotions and energy for your behavior as you read out your answers out loud. Because whether it was a good day or a bad day, you still need to be able to go through those feelings and emotions, acknowledge it, but properly go through the good sports of that and process the degree from level or the levels of success in your day or purpose in your day that came from all your success. So do this with a level of 10 intensity or moving all the way down to 1 as low intensity. And then move and gesture and smile on the way to answer things if it's good or if you're not happy about your day. Find a way to counter like that. We can feel proud of society and love or loving with yourself or find a success or performance of success to fix whatever it is that you have. They can turn that from right on. And then smile upside down for it. They all those muscles that you have in your face. We need to do the same muscles. You need to be able to turn that from upside down and have to smile right side up. And then we've got that trust me, you'll be at my side for a while with exercise. So you can take physical and emotional well being and maintain it even if you're being sensitive or disgusted. So with that being said, there are emotional intensity which put into the exercise, help you to be mindful and present, and begin to look at yourself and see all of that and begin to say to yourself, the more juice you'll get from the power in person and exercise, the more juice you'll put into your mind and your body and spirit, and not any sense of juice or anything like that, or any portable water or anything like that, but things that will help you to build yourself up to a level of mind and well. The reason why I can't press point of water statement, I have a group of people who told me I was drinking enough to juice and hold the wall water. So it's like, okay, thanks. God, yeah, it sounds good. So we're receiving our magic water. This was the next step. A life worth living is worth reporting. That's by Jim Ron. And Jim Ron is a very good person with a level of folks that are important. And then there's a level of agents and what you said there that helps you with that and you think about different things. I want you guys to understand there's so many different things that layer on that mindset, mindset formulas, looking to find some of these guys that and see if you can get something out of there. It helps you to think better in mindfulness and how you project yourself and your well being and how to think better in outside the world of Darwinism, Marxism, or whatnot. So don't think that's just stick out the most knowledgeable things to look at. And help yourself along with the testament and things like that. And it'll help you to build a level of platform for yourself emotionally, mentally, and for your well being, even if you're going to So, with that being said, I think going through these hard questions at the time. Do you think that you're in that credible state because you're active of being, well-being? And then it's up that you don't want to stop right there. Just take the opportunity to see the emotions and feelings by journaling. You that I have a journal for Bill at CC Credible. And then on top of that, we'll see that of layers of actually credible.com. Or you can get them for a coaching.com or you know, online. So I don't have to check it or I coach. So that way you can be in a credible state of mind. You can use that to support all of your successes. In your mind, otherwise, they'll be progressing. So, you want to remind yourself, even when you're a bad in your journal, go back to the things that you have to do, figure out how to deal with any updated steps. So, take out a journal, write down everything that happened in that day, and then list everything that you've done. And all the powerful moments that you might have remembered later on, or when you need to be reminded, and you're trying to break this change, it will have changed, moving into your success perfect. And then, as time passes by so fast, it's easy to forget and really take in and appreciate the little things. When things are going to a lot or are mighty or maybe it's going to happen, or there's one of the things that are from this level of non unity or scary in item of what is mindful. So when we think about all these different things, that's what I do. When I'm going through some stuff, I pull out my affirmation. I find a way to talk to myself in a good self talk here that allows me to emotionally feel better and mentally get back up, even though I feel down, shot, beat down, you know what? I'm not going to let life beat me. I'm going to go stand up, you know, like, <laughs> you know that exact point. So at that point, I begin to encourage myself and take the time to look at whatever's in the Or, you know, little notes I write to myself. I'm like, you know what? 
Today might have been a very bad, no good, very bad day, but I'm not going to let it win. So at that point, we began to remember everything. But in certain moments of like uncertainty or adversity or levels of hardship, I pulled those little things out. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to wait your advice. He's going to be like, oh, my God, tell me. You know, and then at that point, I'm like, you know what, I can make it. So I just want to make sure I'm like, I just can get like that. And there's times where you're just like, you know what? <laughs> I need a magic money, and my black girl magic is tired. <laughs> my white girl magic is tired. My whole mix me lot of magic is tired. Yeah, you know, it's like, okay, you're done. I want some magic in my life. So I have to remind myself of the magic that I need. So when we think about this, we have to remind yourself when our feet are coming from the bad, when we're thinking about our feet are too much, more physical. One day, we'll be going down. We don't see any fault, right? And we have to journal to go back and find ourselves in the next moment to what we had and realize that our life is actually more incredible than we did. And we have to have a start to mind a journey in our next moment and be aware that we're doing more and we're achieving more, but it might be a little slower, but for us to say, point the rain. So in your deep basic point, you'll be able to shop a anger so you don't feel like ain't got no hope to come No good, very bad day. You're just like, darn it. You know, oh, well, Igor, and you're feeling some type of way. So you go by thinking about that, and it's like, you know what, I'm going to go back to the next moment of my life, so I should go get this energy. And it's like, uh, I don't feel like I can do this anymore, but then you're like, I am magic. I am good. I am becoming. I am smart. I am intelligent. I am professional. I am a life coach. I am a mother. You know what I'm saying? Some things I have to tell my father. I'm like, I can win the right balance. So you get what I'm saying? Because you know when you're, uh, you're winning, you're like, I don't get tired, but you're like, mm, I am tired. So at that point, when you get tired, take up the journal, you begin to look at everything, and you start saying to yourself, you know what? <laughs> Although I might be an honorary member of BWA, Black Leaders Association, we're here. I need a reminder, you pick me up. <laughs> so to celebrate your victory, even if it's just the party, the church. <laughs> So then we go to celebration number three. Last but not least, celebrate. Celebrate your day and your whole subject. And you deserve it. This is where we go part celebrate the day. Come on. So when you're sitting down in your rocking chair on a chair, or if you're sitting on your toes, or you're sitting on whatever you have with your butt front to it, you begin to look at the levels of you deserve it. There's a couple ways to possibly reinforce yourself and re talk. So don't beat yourself up for things you shouldn't do, cast you procrastinate, food you shouldn't have ate. If you had a moment of breaking your diet, it's a moment of that, I sometimes it's not done, but my body pays for it every time because I changed my diet to a more healthier diet. So my body's like, uh oh, we're going to need this. Hey, let's go ahead and get it out here. You know, so your body's just simple. And you get to think of that. And you, go, you think to yourself, because that's what people do. And it taught us to feel awful and guilty about things that we did to do. So sometimes your success and purpose is sometimes remembering. I can have a damn day. I can have a cheat day. I can eat that scrumptious little piece of junk food, but I can't do it all the time because my body's going to pay for it. So you guys understand the role of healthy mindset, wellness, health and wellness, and find a way to not feel guilty when you fail sometimes. And some of us ethically fail more than others. I'm not saying one word is ethically fail others, but I think we all have to ethically fail with those things. But that makes me what I am to me wonderful and a good food or a good coach. And it helps me to just lift you guys to come in and go, oh, my God, life sucks. You know, and I'm like, why is life sucks every time? Well, I'm going to this and that. Well, it's really the good thing that you want. Like. And you have to want to do the rest of my thing. I can really figure out for your well being to be restored, your emotional health, your mental health, the world of uh, I am a bunch of friends that what can we shed away to make you so happy to get our plan? You see how I did that program? It's just reversing your mindset and being able to work with my clients and tell you guys it does come from her. It's okay to be like, ah, you know, and just want to punch the air sometimes. But in punching the air, don't do it too long. Don't stay there. Start journaling what you need to talk about. And we come in and we start seeing me. And I thought, let's go get your journal that day when they first booked their place. So what is it been going on today? What happened last week to that left body? So at that point, I was going to go and figure out where your failures are at, where you need to achieve that, and how we can redirect your purpose for And that is eventually, I don't see you again. 
out to the next part. And if I see you again, maybe later something happens, I just say, hey, welcome back to the What happened? What got you back in our chair? And at that point, we have a good example. It doesn't mean that I don't want clients. I do. It means that I want to fix people and help them get to where they need to be. It doesn't mean successful and in that context of success. I am a one mindset. Eliminate mindset. Increase this I am. Eliminate one short. Increase the health. Increase those. And being able to run into their success, their purpose, and their motivated level of controversy, change, and women change. And they do the success and purpose and the same product. And it takes people. It takes people off the So to make things worse, we do the repeat the things that we do. And, and we end up in a down spot where we set ourselves up for our feelings. So instead of being failures, why not why put so much pain in our life? Why are there so many things that are good that happen every day to do this? Why are you guys the same way turn out for a practice like free? And some of you guys also want, and if I don't feel like you can protect us or fight fair with others, I will be on there. If I feel like I'm upset because I react to some BS that happened for today, I'll just won't get on until I have to like it and call myself about it. And I'll be like, you've got me messed up, 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 Presentation on Twitter, Facebook, and you guys get to hear me live. Get to hear me coaching them. Tell me, Frazier. Remember that show, Frazier, Kelsey Grammer, and he had Niall, the little pretentious one, and then they were both psychiatrists, psychologists, and you know, when Frazier would sit there and talk, and he's like talking at this high level, and then everybody's like, you are, you are, and you're just like, okay, bro, you're boring. I don't want to be that life coach. I don't want to be that. Happy Houser, MD, sitting up there at the board certified psychiatrist technologist someday. And if you do like these, you know, I want us to have fun. I want us to have fun with talk radio and help to heal each other and make some changes. So that is my success and my purpose and my success form for, for me. Whatever makes your success will be for you. So when we think about all these different things, why not start recognizing and celebrating all the good that happened that day? Let's celebrate the day. Come on. Hard to <laughs> see what gets rewarded against your people. So, when we think about this mindset, what does that say? When you celebrate your victories, often you will invite more amazing things into your life instead of negative things into your life. And as soon as you'll be conditioned to notice the and everything, to begin to reduce noticing how sad it is. And as soon as you develop powerful habits such as gratitude, consistency, tenacity, and self discipline, mindfulness, and wellness formula, and levels of being present, you begin to look at, so how do you celebrate? Let's figure it out. <laughs> so you really don't want to have a complicated day. Celebrating and giving yourself pleasure. Time to sit there and say, what have I done successfully? What have I done to walk in my purpose? What have I done wholeheartedly? And making a wholehearted business. Giving, say, listening to your favorite music or meditating with gratitude. So, and being mindful and present and practicing those things at the same time. So once you begin to get in that habit, you think about yourself, patting yourself in bed, and say, good job. Even if you're self talk say, good job, CC. Good job. And you're like, yay, yay, yay. You know what I'm saying? So you treat yourself wholeheartedly, celebratory, well, the method, and meditate, and mindfulness, and well-being, mind processes. And when we think about behavioral health, mental health, wellness, all of that goes hand in hand. So when you guys go to see your psychiatrist, I call you or you see uh, your life coach for interim death, because we don't that know. That's why I want to make sure to differentiation so we understand unless your life coach is going to become like me, a board part that practice psychology, I don't diagnose the treatment yet until I get my certifications and everything is done through my fucking out for my exam. I get everything certified and getting my credentials done. So now you all understand how important it is for me to have my success for and be a successful life coach for this I'll be able to do all the things to help people who don't do that to myself. What I'm going to do to start my house to do break up the relationship that cost me a lot. But I'm turning those things and hardships around to be the best thing that's ever happened for me to walk my brother's house. But in common with people, we need to support their front door. And in common with people, we need address. And in common with people, we set people for evidence. Like, it won't be me. I got to do my food. And if I hear one, it will be the so it's not worth it. So I feel you guys, sometimes you have to figure out what's worth it. My child's worth it. Being a mother's worth it. And she's 
almost 18 years old. I had her young, and my lady, I am not going to wear street right on the Internet. So my dancing breath will not be mistreated on the Internet, as she said, on that way, because people start saying, you already put on the Internet, and you come on and say, well, it's just front door. So, with that being said, as a mother of our critical wellness coach, my baby is still my baby, heart, no matter what she says. And she has her own life that I live on church with her. My baby's little adventures and shapers and what's going So y'all know I love my baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. It was the mic, nigga. I'm fun. I only got one mic in life. Sorry about that. It happened to be a little bit of a dead mix of the computer. <laughs> Go back to the coaches. I told you this after he's quiet. We have a little fun here. And some things happen, especially when she's over here. So the key is to give ourselves the pleasure. And sometimes laugh at our food and things like that. They're so awesome with the first for And my mistake is to hit the mic station. <laughs> so oftentimes we have to wait for us to pray with the to get rewarded in order to feel happy, appreciated, and fulfilled. But once you learn how to be happy, fulfilled, and appreciated, and you learn how to support yourself and say, good job. You say, good job, mommy, this morning, momager, entrepreneur. All my time, I want you guys to understand why it's a why it's more like to reward yourself. I want you to be happy. You can choose to happy things right now instead of being counteractive and not being successful or not walking a perfect part of the next. I want you guys to understand how to celebrate. So, in conclusion, I told you some of short lives. <laughs> it's a level of improvement. It's don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your success. Don't give up on your purpose. But use this evening success results in a way that it might take for you to achieve your goals. But with a power of doing that, that is embedded in your mind. And you begin to conquer the world one day at a time. Never let procrastination hurt your progress or taking down time, self-care, to recharge, sit down and think, and then begin to look at your progress. And do not let failure deter you or people who manufacture through failure or obstacles to make you fail or saboteur, or provocateur, to make you to react to failure. But begin to look at those different things. Learn whatever lesson is worth the feeling, and then restart your journey. Your journey is all about a level of trying over a new route. And it's like a song called Journey by uh, Roy Duarte. I want you guys to download it. It's on, I think, Apple iTunes, and it's also on uh, Spotify, and it's on other platforms. You can go to YouTube, follow Roy Duarte. And um, it's a person that I used to be inspired by. My first met up online. And then I want you guys to be able to look at a whole layer of journey of success of people who I used to know, who I used to start to, and I used to see them as a person and business and doing well, and I want to just like them. So they say the way you level up is to have knowledge with people who are here or what you want to be at. So, with that being said, I want to give you guys a prime example of people that talked to my dad about my life and literally showed me how to get up exercise. Don't just lay here. Get out. So those are things that I recall from the child probably not. But I wanted you guys to get the inside things that happen in life, not just the back. So with that being said, in your journey, you want to be able to have that level of a journey that you can turn over and leave. You can live your best life. You can literally start over. Even if your life is totally by phone, literally, you're literally just like, oh, my God, what happened? And you're like, yeah. When you're feeling at that moment, sit down. Or you hurt. The more skills you will discover in your hidden treasures, hidden abilities that were buried within you, that's always been there. And like I told you guys, when you've gone through things in life, you get far away from your real brain and eliminated IBM. Please don't so you have to eliminate one form of your DNA, which is your whole level of your CPU, your, your, your DNA that runs through your veins, your blood, your life blood that runs through your body and your program to ruin it. But as life goes on, we become a little bit far from our kind of illuminated thoughts because life hardships, life situations, things that change our mind and change how we think. So with that being said, you've got to look at the level of what's buried within you. So bring it out. So let in my very life. Let someone reach in to bring the best in you, not the stress. And if that means that you've got to change people that are around you or people that don't see your success, or be successful, perfect in you, then we're like them. So I can guarantee you that you'll be a star that things that you can do. Your talent can take you to places that you won't even have started to imagine about. Being on top of that 
you'll begin to look at the level of hard work and sacrifice to make the attainment success, and it will be it will be worth it because, like I told you guys, in the beginning, I didn't think the sacrifices that I made in my life that turned my daughter to go to school, time with my family to go to build business, and time to recruit and recuperate and things like that, I lost a lot of time for family. I lost a lot of my family members. I lost so much down time with them and being able to grieve properly. But in my recovery, I've learned that trauma therapy helps. And then on top of that, I've been having problems with my trauma therapy appointment, but my, my actual doctor got my appointment. So I can still see him. I'll dress up for my appointment. Then I don't have to call back. But I was going to understand why it's important that I walk the car, talk the car. And you guys understand that even there are practical stories all the time behind the scenes. And sometimes we have to be in one so that we can manage our life and keep it fresh for you all. So the hard work and the sacrifices we all make, there's some things that we do, even if we don't want to make that sacrifice. But the time that it's taken to get everything addressed and get things rectified has been a long, egregious, grievous, hard level of grief that I went through. But my recovery, my journey of recovery, has been a level of working things out, addressing things, asking help, talking about things, talking through it, and working through it so that I can meet or exceed my expectations in my journey. So it used to be a entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur, international business owner, and also international charity. And eventually see that in realization and manifestation. It takes time, it takes money, it takes bankers, it takes a lot of people to believe in my dream. And that means that I have to have a dream team. And, you know, there are people trying to establish my character or a fascinating conversation along the way through that. So those are things that have happened to me. And those are things that have made me mad and hurt me. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to understand, you can challenge any challenge or hardship that you have. You can overcome. I will become a distant memory because the rewards are outweigh the struggles in the heart. But so remember, success is about lifestyle. One of the case of it is very addictive. So once you get used to making one success, you'll be addicted to making another success. And a personal step, one small step, and it went through will help you to make those steps in your journey. And so when you think about this, you can have your taste of success and two, and then on top of that, even have hardship and even have embarrassment and have humiliation. So when you think about these things, these things are also addressed in the testament for success that will not. And it's also in the Bible, it's also in the Torah, it's more honest, all the different ones as well. So all these things are really different ways to say. So pick up whatever book that's going to help you. I know I am beaching that, or I am. Pick up your testament. It'll help you as a framework to help you to begin to move forward, go into your journey, and begin to understand more at the level of your admin. And then begin to move into your success, your journey, your purpose. And then on top of that, I, you know, I don't know how you've been through or what you're going through, but when you sit in my chair and I see you, I can help you in the here and now in the present and begin to go reflect on things and help you to downgrade from your grief and downgrade from your suffering and your loss and begin to go look at the hardship and look at it through a level of post-traumatic growth instead of post-traumatic stress or disorder, which happens to the best of it. So, however, I know that there's something within you and then on top of that, something that sets you apart from the rest of the individuals in the form. A, if you're going to inform whatever your support is or your success path is, your support is come up. So I want you to find this part of your skill, find this part of your purpose, your success formula, and open that key to that door to success. No one in the world can do it for you. And this is something you have to do on your own. As hard as it is to actually guide you as they are, when you're not saying that you're actually a psychiatrist, psychologist, and things like that. So that's why it's so certified, wellness coach, health coach, I'll help you with spiritual ties, the levels of breakthroughs, and more small steps in your journey. I believe the fact that you have to to go through this world of the layers because that's the that's part of your soul and not when you can feel level of layer of uh, forcing you to open your eyes and begin to look at things in a pyramid of success and a pyramid of purpose and a turn of purple and a, a level of shining blind and then a level of opening up your third eye and your all eye to be able to understand all that at that level. So when you begin to achieve those different things, you can say to yourself and look back at your hardship as a lesson instead of Feeling like, oh my God, I never get through this. Oh, uh, you know, maybe I'm not. So don't be hurt. All it takes is some small steps, and small steps will be all in the long journey, and a journey of no regrets because you try and you achieve a conquer. So time to break those chains, implement change, and we'll be to success and purpose. 
And with the power of you, you are. You may call in line five one five six zero two nine seven six five. And those of you who are backstage at the clubhouse, you're more than welcome to see. We're showing you how to do it. Or if you're just sitting up there hiding in the bushes, no problem. No problem. Things like that. I have a problem with that. And then everything is a choice. You want to live a life in the right? Then you will be able to have a cheap something. So I'm thinking I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say a choice. The only thing we do not have a choice about is the moral that. So at this point in time, I'm not trying to die. I'm trying to speak life, and I'm trying to live to be 107 years old. I'm going to live past 10 years past what my grandmother was. She's 97, but she died, so I'm going to be 107. My mom wants to be 99. I'm going to be 100 again. I told you guys, I'm going to outlive my whole family. And I'm going to be a cantankerous, party old lady. Yes, I am. So if you created that within yourself, at this moment, think about the fun things that aren't speaking life. Think about things that you put that within yourself in the moment. Thinking about what you do not have. If you don't have money to invest, ask for what you need. Ask things you shall receive. Then money is not the center of you for achieving your goals. Also, prevent yourself from other things. So begin to look at resources and use those resources to make money. What do you think I've been doing? So when we think about all these different things, you can achieve your goals if you think harder, not If you think smarter, not harder. And then you think in a kid's method of keep it simple, stupid. I don't like to say stupid, but keep it simple, smart. Watch your inner thoughts and watch your inner circle. And then, you know, have those people influence you. And then it's positive to work to yourself every day. You'll have many options for them to quit. And then, no matter how much you have to get, if you need to get up, you want to get knocked there. And then, work on you. Work on your self education. It's a powerful tool. Work on your journaling. And you like technology. And hopefully, technology is not being used to be with you. <laughs> so, make some connection with people who are successful in your field. Sell them on your plane. Tell them on people who are like minded individuals who believe in you, who will back you. Then it's over there. Keep the more discussing yourself. And who we'll want to link up with you. And there's five years old with that task that we have to listen to. So she puts them on a little pitch here for two minutes and fifty eight seconds. So when you begin to look at that, prepare yourself for that and begin to sit there for every little day you guys. And if it's part of your learning experience of your journey, then remember they'll take no part in the way around it. Call down seven, get up eight, follow eight, get up nine. Follow up, I get a Yes. So do not get mad at those who will reject your plan or your success or your success formula or your purpose. Because some people will try to talk you out of your success. So you cannot blame them for not understanding the reasons that life is in you. Most individuals will tell you no, well, now one day please be with you or join your team later on in your success. Most people don't want to see you be successful. Then. But keep a firm hold on your spirituality. If you grow, keep a firm hold on your wellness, your well being, your emotional health, your mental health, and also bring you to a level of clarity, and then we'll come down all the things you to understand your inner self, and find a place in the universe with purpose in your spirituality and more. Your I am pretty filled through a little bit of this stuff. Then it's finding a place in the universe and spirituality as a state of consciousness that enables you to specify your desires and future with a clear mind and a less modest and spirit. So, in this, what will be your choice? Listen, what is going to be your choice? I believe you will take your first small step by success by conquering your fear and misery because you are going to build your own success rituals and formulas as soon as you finish this level of layer of social success. And then you begin to look at, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the top of the ladder of success. Good luck. So that is the end of our success rituals module that we went through. This is seven modules. And I told you guys, I have made what I said, how I want to do this. I told you it's time to bring change. People have changed. I'm moving for a success purpose. So we're going to talk about three for all in the next step and about levels of virtual performance for success when you're going to three for all. And we're going to talk about looking for things and exercise ninja. So we're going to count off this month for the level of success portion of your purpose and going into your purpose and how to do all these things that are hurting you, hard to you, and your dreams for your success. Time for this change, simple make change, and we're going to hear success and purpose. So then on 45 minutes to six seven, I want you guys to understand how important it is. Well, 45 minutes, 10 seconds. And I want you guys to understand that. So trying to make it as short and sweet as possible today. So thank you so much. You can call in live with a message on the answer machine if you want to, or you can actually call my line at call 866 or you can go to 44 418 And then on top of that, you can also do your contact post offering. I'm coaching. I'll assign some of these coaching. I'll assign some of these lines. And I'll assign some of your video. Not for your video, CC. Your life coach, part of more. And we'll go on top of your. Come for more information. And like I told you guys, I have journals on there still.
for you to be able to get things on their side. Coaching, don't need the coaching, you want to your diva. So you're more than welcome to get those different things. And those things are put forth what they did, stand the business, and things like that. I want you guys to understand how important you are to me. It's not about the money. This is not about the job for me. It's literally second hand for me. And I want you guys to understand how important it is for you guys to get out there and do the best you can be. And you cannot take success. 